welcome to my first teaching you how to do stuff video. So this is my sketchbook. I posted these recently on my Instagram and yeah, I thought we'd make something kind of similar to them. Now these I did the backgrounds in oil paint, but we're gonna work with just like craft acrylic paint. Just really cheap craft paint you can get from like a Walmart. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Here's our page. So the very first thing you are gonna wanna do is get some painter's tape and tape off your edges. So to make sure this tape doesn't rip your paper when you peel it off, the best thing you can do is just take some fabric, like your pant leg. It picks up the fibers from your fabric, so it makes it less sticky. So I'm gonna tape off my edges where I want it to be. Yes. Get all nice and taped down on that, very good. And thumbs up. Very first thing I'm doing, I'm using just a really cheap, these are actually the brushes I use for all of my paintings. I'm just using a really cheap little craft store brush from Walmart. So I've got like a decent size head on it. You want something a little bit bigger because we're going for coverage of this back area right now. So if you look at my palette, I am just using those colors right there, that little circle of colors. Basically all you need to do for this part is get some interesting sunset-y type colors in your background. I painted this but later decided I didn't like it well enough to use it, so I end up painting over all of this. That is why I am not including it as part of the tutorial and just sped it up for you. But what's good about these paintings is that that background layer is mostly just some color field for you to work on top of. So just kind of go to town, make whatever colors you like and are interesting, and we will add detail further on. I'm putting this here as a reference for the trees. I used a tree that is right outside of my front yard. So I'm using a really tiny paintbrush for this from just a little Walmart pack. So I am just taking straight black for this, and my paintbrush is a little bit damp, but not like dripping wet. I'm going really lightly so that the, just the tip tip of my paintbrush is touching this. These kind of hang down and droop. It's okay if it is not perfect. We have organic imperfections to our trees. Maybe your hand shakes while you're doing this. Yeah, shaking hands is actually good. You don't have to have a totally steady hand. What you do need to do is watch how you apply that pressure so that it is very controlled and you are light-handed so that you can get those really skinny branches and leaves. It's good to go a little bit off the page. I'm overlapping my tape because then you don't just have this composition where everything is perfectly picture framed inside. It looks like it travels off your page and just keeps going. Okay, we are gonna let this dry and I am thinking that this is not popping with color enough and so once that is dry, we are gonna go over the top of it and add some more warmth to it. I'm going to mix up some orange. I want some pops of orange in here. Now what's really important when you do this is making sure that you have water mixed in with your color so that you still have some see-throughness. It's a little bit transparent and you won't totally cover up what you were doing before. And the other thing I want to add more of is this color here mixed with our black and a little bit of that brown. So I am going to take my gray green color and make sure I have water in here and I am just going to start painting into this. I'm going to add some more water to it. You just need way more excitement up in here. Adding way more of that color pop in there. I'm adding more of that gray green. Now it's going to be like a misty painting. Have enough water where you're not just completely covering all that niceness that you did before with your trees. Okay, and I am going to go back into this center and add some oranges and yellows. Add some water to my paint. And we are just gonna liven up this party because it was freaking boring as freak before. Ah, oh, 
much more satisfying. Now we're getting something interesting going on. I was like, dang, that's freaking boring before. Yes, that is what I wanted. Yes! Since this is turning into a really cool like nighttime sky, I'm just gonna take pure white with that skinny brush and make sure, see I've got kind of a fat glob of it, so I'm just gonna wipe off a little bit. We just really want the tiniest amount on here. And I'm gonna put in some stars just going to come back into this area and bring some of those details that we lost back in with my black. Bam. Okay, I think I want to put some trees down here too. So I, this time I'm going to take this brush. I feel like I just need some darkness down here. So I'm getting a little bit of water on my brush and paint and I'm just going to put in some tree tops coming up through the forest. You know, it's worth it though to get the piece you want. I think that's, I think that's my biggest struggle, like learning to paint and maybe you relate to this too, is when you make something for the first time or even if you've made it a billion times, sometimes it's just hard to know like what it should look like at certain stages. Um, and like knowing that you can have confidence that it will get to where you want it to be if you keep pushing it. Got a little, just a little bit of black. Like we got more forestation going on down here. Just go sweep it up. Get more of that dense coverage. Just kind of damp brushing around some more black. And why not? Let's go one final push in that middle with our white, our yellow, and our red. And let's get that color everything we want. Get that glow. Okay, I, this is looking pretty good. Um, take that away. I am going to peel off the tape now. And wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to enter my giveaway, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. And if we get over 250 subscribers before my next video on Friday when I announce the winner, then I will choose two winners. So that would be awesome. Um, you can win this page from my sketchbook or any other one. I will send you some options if you're the winner. So. Once again, thank you for subscribing. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and give it a like. I would appreciate it ginormously. And I will see you guys next Friday. I hope you have a fantabulous week. Keep going. I want to listen. I want to listen. Go away! Cooper wants to join you. Cooper's gonna knock this over. <gasps> Cooper! <laughs> Scary. Okay, goodbye. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs>'ing myself while I was sitting there. I know, I was thinking Blake is probably terrified. I know, I kept scaring myself so bad. Like oh. I turned over and there's this like arrangement of leaves and a light background behind it so it looks like there's a face like <laughs>
like there's a face like five feet away from my head <laughs> staring directly at me. 